my iPhone, dog? Matter of fact, where's my iPhone, dog? Where's my iPhone, dog? Matter of fact, where's my iPhone, dog? I stick to YouTube, it's like TV. Sneakers, take one. They're a pair of sneakers I really needed to get. And they finally dropped today. Finally. I'm not a sneakerhead. I'm a comfort freak. I'm an innovation type of guy when it comes to sneakers and my longevity of my legs. And as you can see, I'm going out my way for this pair of sneakers. I'm gonna try them out because they're almost $200. These are the longest shoes I've had in forever. These are the Nike, I don't even remember their name. If I like these shoes I'm about to get, these are going in the trash. The beautiful part is uh, the weather's getting better in New York, yay. We're having good weather again. I used to live around here, 55th, between first and second. Do I miss it? No, I only miss it on certain days like when I want to do stuff and just go outside and not really think too hard about anything and just have fun. Hello. Hi, how's everything? I'm here to pick up some shoes. Okay, what's the name? Colin. What is it? C-O-L-I-N. C-O-L-I-N? Yeah, and I just want to try them on before I walk out with them. Damien, do you mind grabbing these shoes? Oh yeah, here they go right here. I think they got these for me, but I want these for obvious reasons. Thanks, appreciate it. These are kind of big and briefy broccoli. Do I like them? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about these. Okay, interesting sensation. It's extremely comfortable. Oh man, these feel by far the best uh, Nikes I've ever put on. So true to size, it's like my toe is in the front. I'm gonna get them either way. I just wanna get them in a black color. These are the color I want. They say they have the same React technology, but each of them feel different. They're not like quite the same squishiness. Like this shoe is different than this shoe. This shoe is more like these shoes in terms of the actual cushion. And I have this one but these, the cushion when you squeeze it in, doesn't feel the same as these when you squish it. These definitely don't feel the same. It's like you're walking on the moon in those shoes. But see, even this feels different than these. And these are supposed to be the same technology. And these, these are supposed to be the same as these. But it's obvious that they're not the same. These are super light though. Golly. Looks like we're gonna get them. You've never felt like this crazy bouncy, like, feels like a, it's the best way to explain it. Yeah. It's starting to feel like summers of old, meaning the year before last. Last year, you couldn't even enjoy the summer. Scared to go outside. And that's how bad it was. Everyone was frightened to go outside, but things have changed. Manhattan, baby. I love New York. Wow, this Nike looks nice. Look at this. There it goes. Look like some super tech, high, high Nike technology numbers and matrix. Oh, look at that. Whoa, what's going on back there? You guys have like vaults. These are like, these are like oh, this is the pickup vault type of thing. Could I try them on? I want to try them on. Uh, this color, I think, is a little better than the last color. All right, let's walk around. Huh. The, look, they got a garbage can block in the mirror. What are you supposed to see? These definitely feel good. I'm going to use these for walking. Goodbye to these. I don't need a receipt. It's on my Nike Plus account, right? OK. So we're gonna see these off. These have put in about 200, almost 300 miles of running and walking. Now it's time to retire you. 
I'm gonna have to see you guys off. See you later. Oh man, I feel so sad. Where do you throw these away? Oh, I'll take that. Okay, say goodbye. To, bye. <laughs> oh man, bye. All right, take it easy. Thank you. And I did it. I'm happy. I did it. These are my next walking shoes. Everybody thinks I'm gonna use them for running. Now, now, now. I'm gonna use these for walking. You gotta protect your knees. But I will say, I have to go to the Reebok store because I want a pair of Reebok trainers. We about to see what Reebok has to offer. Look, what the? There's a little background on them. I guess these are the zones they're supposed to hit. I don't know what this is all about. Look at the renders. This is the midsole. There's the beautiful woman. Look how pretty she is. And I don't know, I guess these are just, um, Nike does an excellent job at, at uh, marketing. I don't particularly know what this, this setup is for, but it looks cool. I should go to the Reebok store, see, do a little comparison, these versus some Reebok trainers. I have a bit of a dilemma. I want to get some Reebok trainers, but the issue is I'm starting to get tired. I don't feel like walking because then I just realized I want to run tonight. I want to test these shoes out. Reebok store is about 20 blocks down or I could just go right on the train and go home, eat a little bit, relax, and then go run in these shoes. Leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know, should I walk all the way to Reebok to look at some Reebok trainers or should I just go home? <laughs> I'm just joking. These things right here, like walking on clouds and foamy clouds. Are, I don't even know what it's like. These are how empty the Manhattan blocks have gotten there. Look at that. That would never happen. Ever. This would just be packed full of cars. I figured it's such a beautiful day out in Central Park. I might as well just sit here and just enjoy it. These are some extremely comfortable shoes. So far, good. I'm not going to run in these. These are for walking. I think Nike made these for walking disguised as running. These are walking shoes. <laughs> but uh, so far, so good. A little bit of walking just gave me time to reflect on a couple things. Um, how much I love my children and how much I'm in love with myself. And I don't mean that in a narcissistic way, but I really love myself. I love my family and I'm starting to as I'm getting older, something else is happening to me also. Is, uh, I'm starting to get a love for people, people in general. And um, regardless of, you know, they say it all the time, you know, people go, oh, I love everybody regardless of race, creed, or whatever the case. And a lot of times, we you know, that's a bold-faced lie. If you could acknowledge somebody, say, oh, this person is from such and such culture, instead of going, this person is such and such color, it makes a better distinction. You start to take away the the color in my eyes that's what helps me is when i go oh this person is from this culture and i respect it you know because every culture is different in the meantime let's just enjoy the simpler things in life i stick to youtube it's like tv 